Um, I'm going to uh, be demonstrating the world. And it's a piece where I'll show you how certain things are done. Uh, the very simple things, you may perform them habitually in your everyday lives, but I'm going to talk you through it so you get the hang of doing things for yourselves. Um, for example, wearing a jacket. <coughs> it's pretty buff, ain't it? It's got a hood. Now, if you want to put your hood on, can you hear me? Okay. So, you want to put your hood on. The way I do it is form, uh, form a manual position where I've got four fingers like this, and my thumbs are loose. Right? So what I do is like, with the four fingers, you put them in between the covers of the hood. But don't put it too hard so it'll come open. And with the thumbs, press down against the forefinger like that. So you press down like that. And then with your elbows, pull your elbows down. And as your elbows go down, it's hard comes up and it comes over, slides nice and easy there and then you let go with your thumbs first and then your hands come out like this and you've got the hold on. <laughs> now um, the jacket's got velcro pieces down in front of it. Before I'm going to take it off but do it stage by stage I'll talk you through it. First of all Start at the top. Again, with with a four finger position and a thumb. Yank the first piece of Velcro open. It's already open. No. And then working your way down, more Velcro. Third Velcro. And all the Velcro is open. Now what you got to do next? Using just one thumb and one finger. You have a zip, and the zip is right up at the top here, near my chin. With the second hand, form a four-finger position of thumb, and hold the front of the jacket nice and tight, like this. So with your finger and thumb on the zipper, actually it works better if you pull your head back at the same time. And down it comes, down it comes. all the way down until you reach the lock at the bottom and then what you need then is a finger and a thumb operation, two of them to... it's not right down yet well, you might have to go inside the coat to get this bit right oh I see you hold the toggle switch it's stuck no it's open but, and so <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and then again with the uh, four finger thumb operation, lift the jacket out, pull the hood back. And this is a tricky bit. You're going to do one arm at a time. Because I'm right handed, I'm going to remove the left arm first. If you're left handed, you to do it the other way around. So again, with a, with a hand position, grab the coat like that and pull it over your shoulder like this. And with the thumb and full finger again, down here at the collar, the sleeve collar, pull over your hand and twist around a bit until your elbow's out. But when your elbow's out, you do this swiftly, like that. <laughs> and then you throw the coat around so it's hanging off loose. And with again a full finger and thumb position, gently slide it off until you can wiggle your hand like this and just let it just let it slide away, it's off. <laughs> a jumper. It's a bit tight around the neck. I've got glasses on. Tricky. <laughs> what I do first is to show you how to remove the glasses. And again it's with the thumb and the finger position. Take the glasses one end at the side of each of them and very slowly pull them away over your ears 
until the glasses are in front of your face. And then push your arms off the glasses down one at a time like this. And then you can put them, hold them in a sort of four finger and thumb position again and slide them into the back pocket of your trousers. Once you've done that, you're ready to remove the jumper. And here's what I do. There's lots of different ways of doing it, but effectively, the most minimalist way of doing it is cross your arms in front of your body and again, we're using a lot of full finger and thumb positions. You really have to get the hang of this, it's a bit tricky. Uh, cross your arms in front of the jumper and grab the hem of it. Bend your knees a little so you can get some traction inside of it. And then wriggling a bit, like this, pull the jumper up. It comes up nice and easy over your back. And pull it right up until the neck reaches the head. And when the neck reaches the head, you have to do a tricky bit with your chin. <laughs> so the chin comes out first. And then wiggle your head back to stretch the jumper, and it comes away like that, nice and easy. Now, you're in a tricky situation here because your arms are locked. And they're also stuck inside of the jumper, so the way I do this is just very swiftly pull one away like that. And then bringing that arm round to the front, hold the jumper there, and off you go like that. Go. <laughs> <clears throat> You're wearing shoes and they've got laces on them. And um, this is uh, this is something that most people do without thinking. But if you really try to think about it, it's a complex operation. My laces are tied in a bow pattern at the moment, which is two rings with a piece of string coming out of there. And so the quickest way to do this is like get the end of one of the strands that's sticking out right there. And it's got, it's got like a plastic tip on it, so you know where you've got it. And it's a single finger and thumb operation again. Feel around for the plastic tip. Yep, I've got it. Pull quickly like that. And the boat just comes apart. Then the shoes have got tongs in them. And the tongue is under the side like that. So if you pull the sides apart, you yank the tongue up a bit. Uh, use both hands for this. And pull the... Pulling the tongue up. With this hand here, you form a crescent shape. And you grab the heel of the shoe. And you can do this two ways, by pulling against the shoe and lifting your foot out of it at the same time. So there we go. That's the shoe walk. <clears throat> I'll just demonstrate how the shoes got tied today in, tied in the first place. <clears throat> two strands, two pieces of string, roughly the same length. <clears throat> the way I do it is cross the two strings over so you've got, and uh, use your finger to sort of hook between there, like that shape. And uh, you can catch, you can catch the crossover of the string between two fingers there. So you've got that. And now you need to form a bow with your one finger and thumb round pressing against it. You've got one bow and then pull it round in a circular pattern around and with your thumb, push the shoestring through and and do um, I do that a bit quicker. Okay, so as a matter of fact, I don't bother untying and tying the shoelaces all that often, really. I just, what I tend to do is with a, a thumb and the full finger position is hold it at the, at the, um, what do you call it? This part. And, um, and form a cross position with your leg. You can lean on the chin to do this easier. 
and slide your foot into the shoe. And um, have you heard of those, um, what are they called, the shoe... Um, they're like, um, they like this piece of plastic that, that you put in the back of the shoe to be able to, but I just do it with my, I just do it with my thumb, like that. And you might lift, lift your knee up, so you wiggle around and pull, it's hard again. Now, I'm going to do this one more time. Now, you're going to be able um, you might find you don't need to wear a belt, but my waist is exactly in position between 34 inches, 32 inches and 34, so that's 33 inches waist. And um, it means that I usually have to wear a belt, because I've got bad trousers that um, fit 33 inches. <coughs> I just polish my glasses first. <coughs> One thing to do with polishing my glasses is um, pull the shirt out of the trousers. All the way round, so it's nice and loose. Make sure it hangs down like that. <coughs> and you hold your glasses up quite low so that the shirt can reach. And with again a finger and thermal pressure, slide it inside the shirt. So you've got a nice bit of cotton between your fingers here. And once you've got that cotton between your fingers, you you push the glasses spectacles. Lens. I usually start with the right lens because I'm right handed. So um, put the spectacle lens in between. You formed a kind of like a pincer operation here. And so put the glasses in between the pincer of the finger and thumb. And push the cotton over and just give it a good wipe like that. Okay. And then you can check to see whether it's uh, clean or not. And it's not clean. So I do it again. And when you've done the right hand one, you move on to doing the left hand one and giving that a good rub as well. And then bringing your arm round to the right hand side, bringing the spectacles in front of you until they're roughly level with your eyes, which is where they're going to go in front of, and lift the arms out. And then just gently, using two fingers and thumb, push the glasses on like this. And there you are, you can see again. So, we were talking about the belt, and I was describing this problem I have with the soles of my trousers. They're always like hanging down or too high or whatever. But I've got a belt that was cut exactly to the size of my waist. And what I do with the belt is, um, with um, three fingers and a thumb, if you're taking the belt off, you sort of like give it a yank like that until the, um, until the, uh, the, the fork of the belt comes away from the hole and with the left hand you pull the buckle of the belt over around like that and then what you do is just like stand there and just go just pull it out and it comes away so there it goes um goes through the um what they call down you know, the um these things here and it comes out and pull 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 and eventually 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 it drops out like that, so you've got to go out. And um, unfortunately, though, you take a quick beer. Drinking beer. The way I do it is, uh, is um, use four fingers around the front and the thumb at the back, and it's got a nice little lip on the top that stops it from slipping out of your hand. So. The way I do it is hold it in front of me and bringing your elbow roughly round like that. There's many ways of doing it. Some people just do or some people do it. But my fancy with doing it is I like to I like to rub my elbow quite high and I like to bring it up to my mouth and tip my head back a bit and the liquid literally flows down into your mouth like that. <laughs> Putting the belt back on. Now that's a tricky one. The trousers are <laughs> falling down, so you need to pull the trousers up first to get them into position. And with the thumb and finger operation again, you slot it through the um, well, slots. And um, with your finger and thumb of the left hand, pull through 
like this, and the book will start, will start to come up as you pull. And then if you reach around a bit more, you'll find a second slot there. And just make sure it goes nicely inside, twist around, and pull through again. Keep pulling, find the next slot, the next slot's right around the back. And then, switching hands from the left to the right hand, you put your arm around the back, and you're standing there in this position now, very quickly with your finger and thumb on the uh, lip of the belt, um, pull it through around that, and the buckle's still coming up. Okay, so that feels good. And when you've got this one standing around, now cross my arm in front and open the slot, the next slot's going to go through, and pull it through. And with your, with your right hand, round it comes. One more slot, and then you're ready to tie the belt. And now this is the, um, this is the crucial moment of truth. First of all, lift the trousers up so they're actually sitting in position. <coughs> You've got another crab claw kind of thing, which you grab the lip of the belt like that, nice and tight. And with the left hand, pull the buckle out. So the whole thing's sort of sitting in position like this. And then with your thumb, press round so it goes through the buckle of the belt. The buckle of the belt's just, you can see it, can't you? It's like a kind of like rectangle shape. And it goes through, through the buckle. And with a very quick action, you move your hand over so that it comes round like that. And you've got the lip of the belt between your finger and thumb there. And the, um, the fork of the belt sitting out, waiting to go into the, um, the, the hole. Right. And my trousers are currently set to the fourth hole, so I count. I go one, two, three, and there's the fourth hole. And you can tell it's the one I usually use because it's a bit stretched around the edges of it. So then with a, with, with a single finger, you flip the, um, the, um, the, uh, the torn thing until it goes in and pull it around like that. And you've got the belt on. But it's not finished yet because the, um, there's the kind of like slot thing that needs to go through, which is um, some sort of metal groove thing that it goes through. So again, lifting that out so it sticks away from the body. So it stands away from the body, twist, twist the lip of the belt around until it fits in, mist, um, until it fits in there and then pull it on like that. And now that usually, I usually wear my shirt over the belt like that, so I'm not really all that keen on wearing belts. Uh, it's a microphone. It's got a kind of, it's not, it hasn't got an on-off switch, this one. Sometimes it comes with an on-off switch, and the way that works is that you're in a thumb. Or you can use a thumb to go click. And then, Switch it back on, like that. <laughs> hello, hello, hello! So that's how the microphone works. The microphone stand, it's a very awkward operation, and it's got lots of bits and bobs to it. Um, this one here, which requires another crab grip, um, I think it goes anti-clockwise to uh, loosen the um, toggle thing on it. And when it's loosened, you can push it down like that. And depending on how tall you are, you might want to think about lifting it up and put your feet on the stands there, lift it up until it reaches a reasonable level with what, the, um, what you're going to use, which is your mouth to speak with. Um, speaking with your mouth, that's uh, no, the way I normally do it is, uh, is, um, well, you have a tongue and you have a memory of words that you've used before and it's a good idea to put them order in. And when they order in, they go backwards and forwards where you say them. So, um, so that's how to use the mouth to talk with. <coughs> Uh, well, I'll pull my jumper back on because um, we've only got a few minutes left here, right? But because I 
took it off over here like this. Remember? Well, it's, um, it's turned inside out. And it's, you can tell that because it's got a little... Uh, um, it's got a little... Uh, you know, tag thing there. And it says... This one says, selected. And it's got a little L in the corner for the size of it, which is... Uh, I think it's done for loads. But I've got to turn it inside out. So the way I do that is using bunched fists, push them out through the arms, struggle out through that. And you've got your bunched fists come out and grab the corners of the sleeve. I don't think corners are right word, but the edge of the sleeve. And let your hands down. And as the hands go down, the jumper should slip away. And you can pull your hands up through until the sleeves come back out like that. And now, um, now the jumper's ready for putting on. So the way I do that is um, one arm that side, one arm that side. Get the jumper nice and loose in front of you. Then lifting both of your arms up overhead like this. You push your head through the uh, through the through the hole of the jumper, the the waist hole of the jumper, and then where you've got oh I have to take my glasses off. <laughs> See this one's got quite a nice, quite a tight neck to it, so I have to remove the glasses to do it. But I've shown you I've shown you how to do that already, so presumably you be okay with removing your glasses. So you remove the glasses and get back in position and goes up overhead and put your whole through, head through the waist hole and let the thing slide down until you've got to the neck hole <laughs> and when you've got to the neck hole yeah, it feels a bit stuck so the way I do that is just pull my arm down like this slowly, slowly, slowly my chin comes through, my head comes through and I squeeze and I wriggle my head through until eventually with a kind of ping Back to ping, the jumper falls down. And then with um, the crab arms again, you're going to have to grab the lip of the jumper and slowly, slowly unroll it until it sits down over the top of your t-shirt. And finally, you're going to have to pull this on. And uh, it's a bit manky actually, it's got bits missing and uh, for some reason all of the uh, plastic coating is coming away on it. Um, but it's still a useful garment. And what I do there right, is like to hold the... You've got a junction between where the neck, where the neck piece goes. So like, to hold that glass bit very tight like that and uh, with your right arm. What I do is so that my jumper doesn't get kind of wiggled up inside of it. Hold the edge of the jumper with four fingers and with the crab hand over the, top, over the side, you've got it to the right hand side of the body. In your arm goes like that, pull up, pull up to the neck, and your hand comes free like that. And the first, yep, that's in shape. Now, you've got this arm here and you've got to get that bit on there. So, how do we do that? Well, the way I do it is first of all, if it's behind back of my neck. <laughs> and I can't quite reach it. Um, pull it round a bit. Yeah, I've got it now. I'm getting the other the, the other neck piece like that. Pull it round until until the jacket's in front of the body like this. And then this is the awkward bit because you've got to you've got to pull your arm and hand into elbow into quite a tight position something like that and you've got a fist and you've got that jacket in place and just kind of stretch and pull and wiggle your arm and the elbow, the elbow bit usually gets stuck so you've got to keep sliding and pushing until 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 the hand comes out the end you've got it on you've got to dip it up now that. It's the opposite of hand zipping, it's called zipping it up. And um, so, you, with a finger and a pincer actually, again, holding the 
right hand lip of the jacky and in the other one, the left hand lip of the jacky. I usually bring it up so I can actually see if I need to, to see this operation. Okay, so the, the zipper on the right hand side has got, um, has got a, a female component and the zipper on the left hand side has got a male component and the male component goes into the female component and it kind of spread to it. Kind of clicks, yeah, that click, a little click. So when it's got, when you've got that click, you use your finger and your thumb again, lift the tongue of the zipper up, and holding the bottom both sides of the jacket. There it goes. It's coming out. Pull it out. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it. Pull it, pull it. I like to have it like this at this time of night, it's a bit cool, so I'll have it right up to the neck. And then at the same time, <coughs> back of the jacket, so it comes down, it comes down, fits snug, snugly over the top of my bottom. <laughs> um, I'm going to put the Velcro back together, which is like with the finger and thumb again. There it goes. And just with a flat hand. Press the Velcro, rub it a bit, and it sticks. And press the Velcro, and it sticks. You press the Velcro, and it sticks. And finally, put the glasses on again, so that I see you all. And um, that's it then. Okay, thanks. <laughs>